Hello heroes of Dominion, here is Zeus again with another guide. Today we are going to show you how to build a basic team. We received a lot of questions asking us how to build a team. This guide will help players to understand the basics of building a team. Basic team composition is, tank, damage dealer, and three support heroes. A tank's purpose in battle is to protect heroes from damage dealers. Tanks are always in the front line and their first artifact is armor or magic defense. For the main damage dealer we choose from marksmen and warriors when building a physical team. How you choose the three support heroes is very important. Generally, the selection of support heroes depends on the defending team. Tanks Aurora, Astroth, Cleaver, Rufus, Lilith, and Vari, who is not officially a tank, Galahad, Corvus, Ziri, Luther, and Chaba. Tanks based on their first artifact. Dodge, Aurora. Armor, Astroth, Cleaver, Rufus, and Vari, Corvus, Luther, Ziri, Chaba. Magic Defense, Lilith. Physical Attack, Galahad. Tanks who protect teams from physical attack are all the tanks with an armor artifact, and Aurora with her dodge artifact. Tanks who protect teams from magic attack are Aurora, Rufus, Luther, Lilith, based on her first artifact, and Ziri. Note that Ziri's first skill increases armor and magic defense for herself but not the rest of the team. Luther's fourth skill adds magic defense to the whole team. Aurora's fourth skill absorbs 85% of magic damage, and Rufus' first skill shield absorbs 326k magic damage. For full offense with a physical team you can use Galahad with his physical attack first artifact. Hopefully it is now clearer how to choose a tank for your battles. Team Building When we build a team we first choose a main damage dealer. Then we choose a tank, and then support. A basic team should consist of, tank, damage dealer, support, support, support. When we build a physical team we can support the damage dealer with, armor penetration, healing, critical hit, and physical attack. The same logic applies when building a magic team, except for critical hit. Magic team support is, magic penetration, healing, and magic attack. Armor penetration. First support should be armor penetration or magic penetration. Defensive teams are composed with two armor artifact tanks, and a support hero with armor or magic defense. Example, Astroth and Martha. Both heroes' first artifact gives 32k armor. If they are activated at the same time that means 32k plus 32k which equals 64k armor. We will use Kark as our damage dealer to explain why you should use a first support with armor penetration or magic penetration. A fully developed Kark has 34,600 armor penetration on his own, and when you add Fenris's pet patronage armor penetration it goes to 44557. This amount of armor penetration is not enough to deal full damage to opponents who are protected with 64k armor. Here are some examples of armor values and how much damage is reduced. 500 armor reduces damage by 14%. 1000 by 25%. 2000 by 40%. 4000 by 57%. 8,000 by 72%. 12,000 by 80%. When we add a first support with armor penetration, for example Isaac, Elmer, Fox, Morrigan, Ching Mao or Tristan, their first artifact gives 32k armor penetration. In our case with Kark, 44,557 plus 32,000 equals 76,557 armor penetration. In this case Kark does almost full damage to the opponent team. The same applies to building a magic team, with magic defense and magic penetration. Magic penetration heroes, Faceless, Lars, Orion, Arashan and Mojo. 
Note that pure damage attackers don't need magic penetration. Second support. After we choose a first support with armor penetration we choose a second support who provides critical hit, physical attack, armor, or healing or a combination of any of them. Critical hit. Heroes that provide a team with critical hit chance are Sebastian and Jet. Some heroes already have a first artifact that provides critical hit, like Yasmin and Ishmael. In this case the second support can be different, like physical attack. Our first choice for the second support hero is Sebastian because of his debuff abilities. With this a team is less vulnerable to control heroes. Third support. Final support depends if you are in offense or defense. In offense you can choose not to add armor because in offense the main goal is to deal more damage. In defense you want to keep your team protected. Jet as the last support hero can add more critical hit to a team as well as healing. Martha can heal a team and add armor with her first artifact. Dorian brings healing and a physical attack first artifact. Now we will analyze two teams to see how they are built up. First team, Corvus, Dante, Isaac, Sebastian, Martha. Corvus's first artifact is armor. Dante is the damage dealer. Isaac's first artifact is armor penetration. Sebastian supports with critical hit chance. Martha heals the team and adds armor. So we have, tank, damage dealer, armor penetration, critical hit and armor. With Martha this team is defensive but if we swap Martha with Dorian we keep some healing and swap the defensive armor first artifact for the offensive physical attack. The second team we'll analyze is a standard twins team, Aurora, Krista, Celeste, Sebastian, Lars. Aurora protects the team with dodge. Krista is a damage dealer with a first artifact that gives magic attack. Celeste heals and adds a magic attack with first artifact. Sebastian in this case is used to debuff negative effects. Lars is a damage dealer with a magic penetration first artifact. So the team combination based on artifacts is, dodge, magic attack, magic attack and magic penetration. As the purpose of this video is to explain the basics of creating a team we didn't delve into the hero skills and their combination. We hope that watching this video will make the team composition in our guides a little easier for players to understand.